crops. Major crops grown in the world can be grouped in following two categories. Food crops. Food crops include all cereals, pulses, oil seeds, beverages and tubers. Rice, wheat, maize or corn and millets are the main cereals. Rice was grown in India more than 5000 years ago. It perhaps originated from India and spread to other parts of the world. Rice is obtained from paddy which is processed in mills. Bran and husk are used as fodder and also as fuel. About one half of the world's population including the whole of East Asia use rice as their staple food. Cultivation of rice paddy requires high temperature of over 20 degrees Celsius to germinate, bloom and mature. Rainfall of 100 cm to 150 cm is required for it. Paddy is mainly cultivated in India, China, Japan, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Thailand and Myanmar. It is mostly consumed in countries where it is grown. Some of the good quality rice is exported to other countries. Thailand and Myanmar, known as rice bowl of the world, are chief exporters of rice. Wheat is grown under a wide range of climatic conditions from Siberia to the tropical regions. However, it is the main crop of temperate region. It requires cool weather and a rainfall between 40 cm to 75 cm. At the type of ripening, there should be clear sky Otherwise, the ripened crop is damaged. The rainfall between 30 cm to 80 cm is ideal for its cultivation. Loam is the most suitable soil for its cultivation. In North America, the wheat varieties are classified into winter and spring wheat. Trivia Wheat production in India showed an 84.3% increase from nearly 6.5 million tons in 1950 to 54.5 million tons in 1990 to 56.7 million tons in 1992. China, India, USA, France, Canada, Russia, Turkey, Germany, Australia, etc. are the major producers of wheat. Most of the wheat produced in European countries are consumed within the region. Hence, more of these countries import wheat. USA, Canada, Australia and Argentina are the main exporters of wheat. They share three-fourths of the total sale of wheat in the international market. Europe is the major buyer of wheat. Maize is known as Makka in India, corn in USA and Indian corn in Europe. It is indigenous to the American continent. It was introduced by Columbus and other explorers in Europe. It is second to wheat in terms of area cultivated. It is used as food grain and fodder. USA is the largest producer and seller of maize in the international market. China is the second largest producer followed by Brazil. In India, Maize has not been a major crop, though in recent times it has gained importance. It is cultivated in Karnataka, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Haryana and Punjab. Millet is the name given to a group of crops like Jowar, Bajra, Ragi and Sorghum. They are used as fodder and food cereals. They grow well in moderately high temperatures varying from 25 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius and in areas having an annual rainfall of 50 centimeters to 75 centimeters. They are mainly grown in low rainfall areas and fertile soils. Millet are not only the staple food for a very large section of people of peninsular India throughout the year but also utilized as fodder. The fodder value of Jowar is great. Fiber is a material with hair-like structure produced from vegetables, animals, minerals and chemicals. Vegetable fibers are obtained from seeds, stems, leaves and fruit cases. Animal fibers are obtained from insects such as silkworms, from animals such as camels, sheep, goats, yak, etc. 
Mineral fibers such as glass is made from silica sand. Synthetic fibers are derived from chemical treatment of natural cellulose which is made from wood pulp. Cotton, wool, jute are some of the most important fibers. Cotton is one of the world's leading agricultural crops used to produce clothes. Cotton is classified on the basis of the length of the fiber as short, staple, medium staple and long staple cotton. The long staple cotton is used to produce linen and strong quality of cloth. It grows in areas where the temperature is between 30 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. It requires rainfall between 60 centimeters to 100 centimeters. Alluvial and black soil are best suited for cotton plants. It requires cloud-free and sunny days and uniformly high temperature. In India, cotton is produced to a large extent in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Punjab and Haryana. Jute is obtained from the bark of jute plant stem. It is a native plant of Ganga Brahmaputra Delta. Wherever bulky, strong fabrics and twines resistant to stretching are required. Jute is widely preferred. Its production cost is also low. It grows well in drained sandy loam and requires warm and humid climate. Jute plants require temperature of more than 25 degrees Celsius and rainfall of over 125 centimeters per year. It is a major fiber crop grown intensively in Southeast Asia. India, Bangladesh and China account for 85% of the world's production. Jute is also produced on a small scale in Myanmar, Nepal, Thailand and Brazil. Bangladesh is the world leader in jute production in the international jute market. Jute faced a tough competition from development of synthetic gunny bags. But the government of India is making efforts to promote its products because being natural fibers, they do not damage the environment. Hemp, flax, abaca, sisal, etc. are the other substitutes of jute grown in different parts of the world. Beverage or cash crops Tea and coffee are popular drinks. They are called beverage crops. These crops are also known as cash crops. Tea is made from leaves of tea plants. It has many varieties. Small-leaved China tea plants and large-leaved Assam tea plants are popular all over the world. Chinese were the earliest tea drinkers in the world. Earlier, the habit of tea drinking was restricted to rich people only. It was also considered medicinal drink. The tea gardens were prohibited to outsiders in China. The colonial British first discovered the Assam tea in the forests of northeast India. Tea plantation or tea gardens are large areas under tea cultivation. Apart from developing tea plantation in Assam, they also develop tea plantations in Sri Lanka. Tea plants require moderate temperature up to 25 degrees Celsius and rainfall of about 200 centimeters per year. Climatic requirements restrict the commercial cultivation of tea to rainy tropical and humid subtropical region. Tea also requires well-drained alluvial soil. Apart from India, other major tea producers are Sri Lanka, Japan, Indonesia and China. More than three-fourths of the world's production of tea is contributed by these four countries. In India, tea is produced in Assam, West Bengal, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Assam alone accounts for half of the tea produced in the country. One third of the world's population drinks coffee, the second largest beverage after tea. Even when some regions denounced coffee as an intoxicating drink, its stimulating effect made it popular all over the world. The coffee plants are cultivated for their seeds or beans which are roasted, ground and sold for brewing coffee. There are two types of coffee plants, coffee arabica and coffee robusta. Robusta is the main variety produced in the world. The coffee plants require moderate rainfall and warm climate. 
sunshine and snowfall are harmful to the plant. During its growth, coffee plants require rainfall of 100 cm to 150 cm and temperatures between 15 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Irrigation is required where annual rainfall is less than 100 cm. The important coffee producers are Brazil, Colombia, Vietnam and Indonesia. In India, coffee is largely grown in the eastern shelter land slopes of western ghats in Karnataka and Tamil Nadu.